Speaking of Blue Sky franchises, Jack, your Steelers. Yes, 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 yes. Little bit, tiny bit, not really. Quarterback competition going on right cheers now. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Yeah, cheers to that. To the Steelers. There you go. So Justin Fields, he's been a little bit more vocal recently as a Pittsburgh Steeler. He came out and said, you know, it was a relief to know he was going to Pittsburgh, that that was the spot he wanted to be at. Uh, but when you dive into it, there are some big pros and big cons about Justin Fields having his time in Pittsburgh right now. So I want I wanted to lay him out real quick. A couple of the pros that I think, you know, there's it's an established culture of success in Pittsburgh. You have guys like Mike Tomlin, who everyone wants to play for. A little less pressure is on Justin Fields right now to come in and immediately succeed with Russell Wilson projected to be, and he will be, the starter for week one. Um, so a little bit of a backseat for Fields where he can step back and learn and reassess his career, rejuvenate it. The con, though, is that you're not playing. Like, you're going to be the number two on the depth chart to start the season. You do have a defensive-minded head coach. The weapons are okay around him, and it's a tough division that's filled with fantastic defenses, fantastic pass rushers like Miles Garrett. So is this a good spot for Justin Fields to actually be in? Do you believe him when he says, this is the place I want it to be? Well, first off, I feel like it's a Sunday in Pittsburgh because they're talking about Steeler football. I got a little buzz going. It's like I'm on the boat. A, bu- a little buzz off half a course. Three quarters of a course. <laughs> I drank more before this, though. So, uh, it's like I'm on the boat from the Charlton Hotel to over to Heinz Field. Um, but so Justin Fields brings a certain level of of skill and athleticism to Pittsburgh we've never seen. But with Arthur Smith as the OC right now, with I think how the Steelers want to play is what they've kind of all the, the traditional Pittsburgh Steeler type game. You run the ball, you use tight ends, you play strong, you play physical. Play action, yeah. Play action, yes. Which is very a big part of that, what he likes to do. And I think we're built more for that. Obviously. Uh, and Russ, to me, is, is just a better quarterback in that style, in that system, what Arthur Smith wants to do with the offense. But Justin Fields... We haven't, I mean, I've never seen a Pittsburgh quarterback able to run for an 80 yard touchdown. Mm -hmm. Like he can bring that dynamic athleticism to Pittsburgh. I wouldn't mind things too. Like maybe Russ gets us down the field and you can bring in Justin Fields in the five yard line, have him like Lamar it and take him to the end zone, like stuff like that. But I definitely rather right now see Russ as our number one quarterback. Okay, so but do you think you think it's a good spot for Fields though would you, for his career? Uh, I I mean, honestly, probably not. Mm-hmm. I I don't. I like, think I love him in the AFC North, but I'm 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 rooting for him. Like Ziggy, if you were Justin Fields, I, do you think it'd be better for him to be have been a Falcon in the I, NFC South or to be with the Steelers? Being a Falcon, I don't think was ever really an option. But I will I'm say this, is that I, I, well, I think about like what happened to Sam Darnold, right? Where mm-hmm. he had a really rough time with the Jets and the Panthers. But he's talked about now publicly, now that he's with the Vikings, how having a year in San Francisco, being with a functional organization that does things the right way, it helped him gain some perspective and really approach his career a little bit differently. And he got a better understanding of who he was as a player. And now he's out there with the Vikings trying to revitalize his career. I think that taking a year and just being somewhere where everything works, Mm -hmm. right? And in Pittsburgh, you can say what you want from the outside. Things work there. They have good coaches. They have functional players. Like they will go in, practice, and play a good game of football every single week. That's just what they do. That kind of thing, going there from the dysfunction with the Bears, will be night and day for Justin Fields. And he's only there for a year, right? So like he doesn't have to worry about like are the Steelers my career landing spot? I think they're almost certainly not. But he'll likely get to start a game or two. How many years has it been since the Steelers have started one quarterback for 17 games or 16 games? It's been forever. He'll probably get a couple games and he'll get a chance to practice. And it's just a chance to press the pause button on your career, develop as a quarterback, and be somewhere where things actually work. That's the thing, too, is Justin Fields, I mean, he's a winner. He played a national championship game. Uh, one of the better QBs in, in the country for years at Ohio State and goes to the NFL and doesn't doesn't see that. Played well at the end but, of last year. Too. You know, he did. He did. He did. But now going to a team who, for whatever reason it may be, is always a good team could be a good thing for him. 
and Russell Wilson as well. A lot of people, a lot of people get on him for the antics and he's a corny guy, easy to make fun of, but he's another dude where the system usually works for him. I know Denver wasn't great, but they were coming on at the end of last season. And the way you hear everyone talk about him, the work ethic, you can't deny. Um, you know, he's an accurate quarterback. He's a, he's a good teammate. Like you can't deny those things. Although, you know, I've heard stories about he's a weird teammate, but at the end of the day, I do think he's a good teammate and help set a precedent for, for a strong culture in a locker room um, most of the time. And so far, that's what everyone's saying. You know, he's the last man off the field. He's, he's uh, looks good. He's talking to all the teammates. He's interviewing with the offensive coordinator after practices. Like everything you talk about, Russell Wilson has been good so far. So he's someone who I do think can be a good teacher as well as a former mobile code quarterback, not as much anymore, but he can be a great teacher for someone like Justin Fields. And I agree with you though, Jack, even though, Justin Fields is saying it's a competition. I'm coming in every week trying to push Russell Wilson. And if Russ just sucks and Fields is great, then yeah, maybe it is. All indications seem to be that Mike Tomlin knows, Justin Fields knows, Russell Wilson knows, Arthur Smith knows. Russell Wilson will be the quarterback for next season. Um, so that I don't think it's a bad thing at all. As you said, Ziggy, hit pause a little bit and, and try and rejuvenate this career, whether it's in Pittsburgh next season or somewhere else. Yeah, George Pickens, I don't know if you guys see, saw this, but I just thought it was so funny I had to include it. He was <laughs> he was in an interview with Jason Mackey of uh, the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette, and he was just baby. talking about his work ethic. He goes, EPG. he goes, I don't take a lot of time off. Sometimes I don't even sleep. I pull all-nighters just thinking about football. And then he carried on saying that we haven't seen 100% of his ability yet. He goes, I'd say probably 80%. I can only go off of how the quarterback plays. I can thrive more. Uh, I should have been in the Pro Bowl last season. And I mean, we just what a, another shot from all these Steelers receivers. The shots at Kenny Pickett have just been crazy. No, they hated this guy. Oh, they, they, like, but I'll just I'll give I'll really, give George Pickens some advice. If he wants to reach his potential, maybe he should get some sleep. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I <laughs> the dude staying up all night thinking about football. To be fair, Kenny Pickett across eleven games last year, like eleven games that he played basically start to finish. Had 2,000 yards, six touchdowns, and four interceptions. So, I mean, there is some truth to it, but you just don't, you just don't say that. You know, the last time I was in Pittsburgh, it was uh, outside the Pittsburgh Post Gazette building at like two in the morning. I met out with a girl I met at the bar. Jeez. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> that's, that's why PPG caught my eye when you went, uh, or caught my ear when you, when you said Pittsburgh oh Post Gazette. I All love right. the Pittsburgh Post Gazette. All right. We're going over to JJ McCarthy. The